So this is the uh, um, where I threw down a whole bunch of clover. You can see it here. It's already here's the clover right here. This, I can feel the seed in there. It's uh, falling in here. There's a whole bunch out here now, and hopefully it's going to uh, be sprouting clover. The other uh, location that I clovered. Just a little step down here. that I'm setting up a private beehive and someone has someone has this area where he has his um, what's it called uh, chestnut trees so I talked to him the other day and he was like it's fine oh let's not walk into that spider this looks like but it's not this looks like um, wisteria but it's not wisteria it's kind of wisteria but it's not it's a different kind of uh, uh, just a forest dweller so um, here's where I put the uh, the clover it's not doing so well there this one looks fine that one looks fine and um, isn't that a beautiful view out there so the beehive is going to go right on this trunk here I'm going to put a board on there and the beehive is going to sit on top of that board um, that's the goal and hopefully we'll have clover and stuff growing out here and I also want to get the purple flower growing out here down this down this area have this purple clover and those purple flowers be really nice help him maintain this uh, his little area here He's put the wood around it. I put clover all up in there. So, I don't know if you can see a lot of clover. See it all in here. That's clover. All that's clover right there. I don't feel any seed in that one. So, hopefully, there's some seed in here. It's going to drop. And right now there's no clover, and we'll see. Next year, will there be clover growing up here? I hope so. So... This is it. So this is the, I really like this uh, bee sanctuary. It's not that far from my way. I mean, it's kind of like um, right on my way home. Regardless, it, I can feel the seed in here. So hopefully, if this doesn't catch, at least the uh, seed will drop, right? And it will sprout some more. Um, this is crimson clover. It grows a little higher. I put it up here so it will just basically roll down this hill, hopefully. As it as it uh, grows, so is this wisteria? I don't know. Looks like it, but I'm not sure. Sure does has that look to it. If it is, great. Oh, that's an interesting little growth here. Whatever this is. Sorry, my you're shooting my leg. It's like wisteria. This isn't. This is kind of form of bamboo. So maybe there's some wisteria growing in here. Who you knows? Very beautiful out here. And uh, that's Fukui. That's where I work. I work over there. Pretty much straight over there is where I work. The um, where I collect the right now where I'm collecting the uh, clover is kind of over there. I live over there. So all right, I'm out of here. If I can find some purple flowers, I will. But every day I try to do something. Right, I try to do something to um, help the bees every day, you know, spread some clover, pick up some clover, put down some flowers, whatever it is. This interesting little green vine here growing. And uh, maybe one day I'll walk around and check out these woods more. I have seen bees out here, so I know bees exist. Here's my little fun exit. Right down here, I get a little slide. Slide action. Man, I'm not sliding that well. <laughs> and then back here. So you get an idea where I'm at. <laughs> this was a building. For some, I don't know what it was. 
but this is owned by Fukui City here, right in the section here. Maybe in years to come, they'll donate it as a bee sanctuary for Japanese bees. Who knows? That'd be sweet, wouldn't it? Have all this with flowers and Japanese beehives. Not for honey, but for the sake of the bees. Because ultimately, that's the kind of thing we're going to have to do if we're going to save them. Treat them like any other potentially endangered animal and create a habitat for them away from us, ultimately.